Welcome to YQ Academy SQL Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is a materialized view? A materialized view, also known as a materialized query table, is a database object that stores the result of a query as a physically materialized table. Unlike a regular view that retrieves data dynamically from the underlying tables, a materialized view pre-computes and persists the query result, allowing for faster data retrieval and improved query performance. 2. What are the advantages and disadvantages of views in a database? Advantages of views in a database. 1. Data abstraction. Views provide a layer of abstraction over the underlying tables, allowing users and applications to work with a simplified and consistent representation of the data. They hide the complexity of table structures, relationships, and security constraints, making it easier to query and manipulate data. 2. Simplified querying. Views simplify complex queries by encapsulating them into a reusable and named entity. Instead of writing the same complex query repeatedly, you can create a view with the query logic and refer to the view name whenever that data is needed. This improves query readability, reduces errors, and promotes code reuse. 3. Security and access control. Use enhanced data security by controlling access to specific columns or rows. You can grant different levels of access to views based on user roles and privileges, ensuring that sensitive information remains hidden while providing access to the necessary data. Views can also enforce row-level security filters, limiting data visibility based on defined conditions. 4. Performance optimization. Views can help optimize query performance. By predefining commonly used joins, aggregations, or filters in a view, the database engine can optimize and cache the query execution plan, resulting in faster data retrieval when the view is queried. Views can also reduce the amount of data transmitted between the database server and client applications. 5. Data independence. Views provide a level of data independence, allowing you to modify the underlying table structures without affecting the applications or queries that rely on the views. By keeping the view definition intact while modifying the tables, you can shield the applications from changes in table schemas and maintain compatibility. Disadvantages of views in a database. 1. Resource consumption. Views can consume additional system resources, such as memory and CPU cycles, particularly when dealing with complex queries or large data sets. Querying a view involves executing the underlying query, which can impact overall system performance, especially if the view involves computationally expensive operations. 2. Data integrity. Views are dependent on the underlying tables, and any changes made to the tables might affect the data integrity and consistency of the views. If the underlying tables are modified, it is essential to ensure that the views are updated or refreshed accordingly to reflect the changes. 3. Storage overhead. Depending on the complexity and size of the view, materialized views, in particular, can occupy significant storage space in the database. Materialized views store the pre-computed result set, which may duplicate data already present in the underlying tables. This can increase storage requirements and maintenance efforts. 4. Maintenance and synchronization. Views require maintenance, especially when there are changes to the underlying tables or when the view definitions need to be updated. Materialized views also require synchronization with the underlying tables to ensure data consistency which adds complexity and potentially impacts system performance during refresh operations. 5. Limited flexibility. Views have certain limitations compared to direct table access. For example, views may not support certain operations like inserting, updating, or deleting data, especially when they involve multiple underlying tables. Views also cannot contain all types of queries, such as those with non-deterministic functions or recursive operations. 3. What are the advantages of stored procedure? 1. Code reusability and modularity. Stored procedures allow you to write code blocks that can be reused across multiple applications and database interactions. Once defined, stored procedures can be called from various parts of an application or even from different applications, 
promoting code modularity and reducing code duplication. This improves development efficiency and maintainability. 2. Improved performance. Stored procedures can enhance performance by reducing network traffic and query processing overhead. Since the entire procedure is executed on the database server, only the results are returned to the client application, reducing the data transfer between the server and client. Additionally, the database engine can optimize the execution plan for stored procedures, resulting in faster execution times compared to executing individual SQL statements. 3. Data consistency and integrity. By encapsulating complex business logic and database operations within stored procedures, you can ensure data consistency and integrity. Stored procedures can enforce data validation rules, apply complex calculations, and maintain data integrity constraints. This helps to enforce business rules consistently across different application layers and database interactions. Four. Security and Access Control Stored procedures offer an additional layer of security and access control. You can grant or restrict access to specific stored procedures, limiting the exposure of sensitive data and controlling the operations that can be performed. This prevents unauthorized access to the underlying tables and reduces the risk of SQL injection attacks. 5. Transaction Management Stored procedures allow you to define and manage transactions explicitly. You can group multiple SQL statements within a transaction block, ensuring that either all statements are executed successfully or none of them are. This helps maintain data consistency and integrity, especially when dealing with complex operations involving multiple tables. 6. Reduced network traffic. By executing a stored procedure on the database server, only the results need to be transmitted back to the client application. This reduces network traffic and can significantly improve performance, particularly in scenarios where large amounts of data are involved or when the network connection has limited bandwidth. 4. Explain the difference between delete, truncate, and drop commands. 1. Delete. The delete command is used to remove specific rows from a table based on a specified condition. It allows for selective removal of data and offers the ability to roll back the operation using a transaction. The delete command retains the table structure, indexes, and triggers associated with the table. Deleted rows can be recovered using backups or transaction logs. Example 2. Truncate The truncate command is used to remove all rows from a table, effectively deleting all data within it. Unlike the delete command, Truncate does not operate row by row but deallocates the data pages, resulting in faster performance for large tables. Truncate also resets identity column values, but it cannot be rolled back within a transaction. Example 3. Drop The drop command is used to delete database objects such as tables, views, indexes, or stored procedures. It removes the entire object and all associated data and dependencies. The operation cannot be rolled back, and the object must be recreated if needed. Dropping a table also drops associated constraints, triggers, and indexes. Example 5. What is union, minus, and intersect commands? 1. Union. The union operator is used to combine the result sets of two or more select statements into a single result set. The result set of a union operation includes all distinct rows from the combined queries, removing any duplicates. The number and data types of columns in all select statements must be the same or compatible. Columns are matched based on their positions in the select statements. Example 2. Minus or accept. The minus or accept operator is used to subtract the result set of one select statement from another select statement. It returns all rows from the first query that are not present in the second query. The number and data types of columns in both select statements must be the same or compatible. Example 3. Intersect The intersect operator is used to retrieve the common rows between the result sets of two select statements. It returns only the rows that exist in both select statements. 
the number and data types of columns in both select statements must be the same or compatible. Example. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.